In this video, we're going to evaluate this limit and let's go ahead and do it very carefully. So the first thing you should do whenever you're evaluating any limit, always mentally, at least mentally, is take this number and plug it in and see what happens. So you put the zero here, we'll get sine of zero, which is equal to zero. You put the zero here, you get the same thing. So you get zero over zero. That's called an indeterminate form. So whenever you have zero over zero or any infinity, plus or minus, over any infinity, plus or minus, you can use something called L'Hopital's rule. L'Hopital's rule says that when you have zero over zero or infinity over infinity, you can just take the derivative of each piece. So let's do that. So this is the limit as x approaches zero. So the derivative of sine is cosine, but here it's sine 2x. So we have to use the chain rule. So it's cosine of 2x times the derivative of the inside piece. The inside piece is 2x. The derivative of 2x is 2. So this is 2 over, and then here, same thing, derivative of sine is cosine. So this is cosine of 3x times the derivative of the inside. The inside piece is 3x, so its derivative is 3. So times 3. Beautiful stuff. This works out so nice because look, now you can just plug in the zero because cosine of zero is one. So this is going to be cosine of zero times two over cosine of zero times three. But we know cosine of zero was one, so we get one times two over one times three, which is equal to two thirds. And that would be the final answer. This is the easy way to do it, by the way. There is another way to do it using, um, you could use this. This is from Calculus 1. Maybe you've seen this before. You could rewrite this in a clever way and use this formula and get the same answer. It's a lot more work. So this is the super powerful, easy way to do it. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.